Hey, this is Taylor from KB Foam Strike. Let's go out and do some thrifting. All right, here we are at the first store for today, and I'm already seeing some classic stuff here. We've got some old dart tag stuff, a couple of uh, vortex, Tommy 20 down there, moving right along. Ooh, and here we go. We got some rival stuff. So we got ourselves the Apollo 299. That's not too bad. And then we got one of my favorites here, the Kronos. This thing has definitely been left out in the sun because you can see the faded versus the part that's not exposed where you prime it. But that's a pretty good deal. Uh, I think I might hold on to this. I might be grabbing that. All right, going along over there, we got a super soaker. And ooh, up top, I see an 18 stick. And what do you know? It's attached to a strife. $4.99, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put that over here, grab myself a cart. And dang, we got a bunch more of Apollos. This one's also $2.99. I might be picking up some Apollos today because that's not too bad and look at this one $5.99 see what I mean so like sometimes consistency is not a thing at these stores some people price stuff higher than other but you know $2.99 that's not too bad wait a second who cares about Apollos we got a lightning stock on this lightning whatever it is I can't even talk lightning stock off of the super soaker and uh yeah that thing is amazing. I've been wanting one of these forever. And what do you know, I also found a couple of these 12 round things. So that goes ahead and tell you why I'm gonna be getting some of these Apollos. But hey, man, I can't believe I found that stock. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and stick it on the Strife because whew, moving on, we got a Demolisher over there and we got some more old classic stuff, Mavericks, Dart Tags, and we've got a long shot down there. Some more Mavericks, Star Wars, Han Solo Blaster, some Rebel Bows, a Mag Strike. Jeez, I haven't seen this much stuff in, in a thrift store in forever. I mean. I guess they've been backed up, you know, with, you know, all the donations and whatnot. But, hey, here we go with even more stuff. We got a, we got a, a Helios, like, so much good stuff here today. $5.99. I'm going to go ahead and pass on it, but, geez, it's still good to see stuff. Hey, we even got, like, a Ravenger from the Alien Menace stuff. There's a Disruptor back there. there there's so much stuff. You just got to, like, keep checking every little cranny and nook, you know. You never know what you're going to see. Duminator, Firefly, just... Wiffle ball bat, you know, you, you got to look everywhere. And then I had to take a double take because I was like, wait a second, is that what I think it is? And it was. It's that new Porcupine Pop uh, Nerf game. So, 350. This thing looks like a lot of fun. It even came with its darts and instructions. The only thing it was missing was the die that you're supposed to roll. But hey, we can come up with our own game. And then up here we got the uh, Chewbacca little bow, and uh, that was about it for that aisle. So we moved on and. We got ourselves another rarity. We got that uh, Star Wars pistol right there. I think you can only get it at Disney World. And then here I am with a, a Sonic barrel break, you know. Bunch of classic and, and also, you know, some rare stuff. Nothing I really need, but, you know, Buzzsaw. And then we got the Optimus Prime Blaster down here. There's a lot of stuff here today, man. This is crazy. We got a Mega Bow down here. And then over there we got a Zeus. We got some more Rebel stuff, even more Mavericks. You know, Rebel Bows here, Rebel Bows there. Everywhere Rebel Bow, 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 you know. And then we got a bunch of super suckers as well. Let's go ahead and turn over here. And then let's see what we got. Uh, do, 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 do. Checking every side. We got some kind of Busby blaster over there. Nothing I'm really interested in. And then here we get another red super soaker, but it's, it's got a, a red raider stock on it. I'm going to have to pass on that one because I'd rather take the lightning stock. There was an Apollo. Here's some more super soakers. Got a Titan. Man, if that thing had a rocket, I'd be grabbing that for sure. And then we got a long strike up here. There's just so much stuff here today. This place is loaded. Uh, what else we got? Another demolisher. But, I mean, I still have that rule. If it doesn't have a rocket, I'm not going to grab it because I have, like, three or four of these things. And, I, unfortunately, I don't even use them. So, there's no point in grabbing them if I'm not going to use anything. Check out my Arsenal video if you want to see all the stuff that I have when I keep saying I already have all this stuff, you know. Uh, then over here we got a Raider, and it has a Retaliator stock on it. That looks kind of cool, actually. I, I haven't thought about using that because I always just, you know, the Raider stocks are better, but it looks pretty cool. Then we got some more of those little Super Soaker things, and a bunch of them, actually. None of them had stocks besides that red one over there, so nothing I'm really interested in. There was a Vulcan hiding down there. And what else we got? We got a Hyperfire right there, hiding under there. It's so thin you can miss it, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh... Bunch of school buses, you know, eh, typical stuff, but yeah, but check it out. I also found this thing. Found a, a regulator, and uh, yeah, it's got almost all of its parts. It, it's a pretty good price. We got just so much stuff today. It's crazy. And, you know, might as well top it off by turning a corner and seeing a Terra Scout. Like, what? This is crazy, man. 
So I'm gonna stick this in the cart and I'm gonna think about it pretty hard. But I'm gonna go ahead and break everybody's heart. I searched the store, I'm not even kidding, 45 minutes and I did not find this controller. I looked in the electronics, I looked in those bags, I looked everywhere, up, down, left, right, even in the shoe department, nothing. So I had to put it back and we're moving on to the next store. Still cool to see it, but it was not worth paying that price for it to not work. So yeah, here we are at the next store, and we got one of my favorites. It's a Rebel Rapid Red. Ooh, $3.99 though. And it's got its mag, it's even got the little decoder, which uh, that, that's pretty hard to find. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to hold on to this. I already have about 10 of them, so I don't know if I'm going to be getting it. But yeah, let's move on to this aisle over here, and we got ourselves a Stampede. Haven't seen these uh, as much as I used to, but it's cool to see it again. And we got another one of those Han Solo blasters there. And we got some kind of Busby looking like a long shot type of bolt action thing. It's got two prices on it, so who knows what it could be. And then we got a Boomco blaster. You're starting to see less and less Boomco stuff, you know, because uh, they, they, they discontinued it. They're not making the darts anymore as far as I know. And you can still find them on Amazon here and there, but still, you, you can't just like go to the Walmart or Target and grab Boomco stuff, which is kind of sad. But yeah, other than that, it's looking like mostly the same type of stuff. But wait a second, here's something I haven't seen. It's a scavenger. I mean, it's definitely been scavenged, that's for sure. It's missing just about everything that it comes with. But, hey, it's cool to see some newer stuff that uh, you don't really get to see too often. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this trip. So today I went home with the Porcupine Pop, two of the Apollos, because come to find out, I didn't have any of them. I got two 12-round mags, got that Strife loaded up with a bunch of cool attachments, and that'll do it. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.